when I was in conversations with clients, when they just wanted one logo or a flyer, I don't work that way. And trying to get them to understand what the essence is of branding and how it can serve a client or a co company beyond just this deliverable, how it can have impact bigger and wider for the whole company, for culture, for their culture, for everything. It's a big, it was a big leap. From a very early part of what I started off doing, it was always very local, right? It was always like asking a friend of a friend and it was asking, hey, who do you know? And I just didn't see how big it could go. And so I just started to just put feelers out there. So early 2017 is actually when I got introduced or around this time, I don't know exactly. I got introduced to the future. So listening to podcasts, that's when I started going on those deep, deep rabbit holes of content that you know when you're like feeling I need some, to learn something new. Like that is all I listen to for my hour commute, you know, back and forth through town and was just kind of ready to burst, you know, of ideas and I just had to do something. I just had to get it going. Eventually, I was confident enough to to actually quit in May of 2017. And prior to that, I had a client that was amazing and they're still a client till this day. So when we talk about taking the leap, um, it was really important to me that I felt secure. I mean, I'm coming from a predictable paycheck, uh, benefits, time off, not having to work on the weekends. I was salaried, so that, you know, sometimes can get a little messy, but I needed to see that we could actually sustain this, especially because my husband had no plans of leaving his job. We still had a child in daycare. <laughs> and what helped me though was I made a promise to some random stranger I met at a, at a conference because I told her I wanted to leave my job. And she said, you need to put a date on this. And I never really thought about that. Um, and so I was like, well, I can't let her down. I don't remember her name. Um, I can't let her down. So I'm definitely going to leave by this time. It was something like psychological, just like triggered in me. And I was like, I, I'm gonna do this. This is what I'm doing. And this picture on here, it's kind of probably hard to see, but this is my first client, my first photo shoot, my first video shoot that I ever participated in. This was in April of 2017 and I left in May of 2017. And so I had this client who I found via networking and I put myself out there. I said, Hey, I think you have a great offering for the community. I want to be a part of it. Uh, here's what I know. You know, here's, I know how to do design. I know how to do video, photo, all of those things. And he said, well, actually we need all of this help. And it's actually a company in town that provides lofts and townhomes here in, in Bakersfield. And with our work together, they actually sold them out um, before they were kind of lagging. And so like there was some success that I was seeing in that that space. Um, and honestly, it was just like by telling a story. It was like all the stuff that we talk about all the time in the future about telling your brand story and connecting everything together. That's all I did. And it was such a dramatic shift from what had been done before of getting this like drab logo and drab ideas, nothing fun, nothing interesting. and putting personality to it and having it feel like it's something special and to be attained. And it worked. <laughs> I was like, okay, I think I know what I'm doing. I think, I don't know. There's a real like need for what I do here, but also just a need for education. And that's honestly, rather than like having everyone be a client of mine, which I can't handle <laughs> probably, it's more about showing that there is creative folk here and they're is a creative story to be told. And if that's the thing that I'm known for in town, then that's, that's I'm doing something with that. I, especially with like the future being a very digital space and just the world kind of moving into digital services. A lot of people do gloss over just the opportunities in their, that are in their literal backyard. It, it's a different way of doing business. You know, you have to have different systems and different capabilities and you have different dynamics, like you probably might need a local office space rather than meeting at a coffee shop. Like there's like different dynamics that work with that, but both are still incredibly viable and you obviously still need to have a digital presence, but there's just not a lot of chatter about how to actually do that. I never was ever really able to find a lot of content about having kind of that hybrid model of having clients far away and locally. And how do you do that without strain? I'm still figuring all of that stuff out. And we do have a handful of local clients still. And it's it's lovely. Like it, it's just great to have those local clients. And 
I think there is a misnomer against local clients that they don't have money. They absolutely do. They absolutely have enough money to sustain you, especially if you have an offering that they need and you can stand by it. So um, it's, it's a grind, obviously, as every other part of owning a business is, but it's definitely viable. When I'm in conversation, when I was in conversations with clients, when they just wanted one logo or a flyer, I don't work that way. And trying to get them to understand what the essence is of branding and how it can serve a client or a co company beyond just this deliverable, how it can have impact bigger and wider for the whole company, for culture, for their culture, for everything. It's a big, it was a big leap. And so I did it for education purposes. And honestly, it's a differentiating factor for me locally, more so than it is virtually or within the context of this peer group. It's, it's a different way of thinking about it, but locally we're, we were the first ones here to really have branding in our name. And that's a differentiator for me. And I want people to come to us for branding, not for, a tchotchke order for pencils, which is what I was getting. So I did it to like focus, and, you know, it helped to move us forward too. of like any clients that come through, do they need branding guidance? Do they need us to influence with their brand? If yes, go. If no, hey, we need to educate them a little bit more or they're just not a good fit. Because if they don't believe in what we believe, if those values aren't stacked up correctly, then it's not going to be fun at the end of the day. What changed the game for me? Honestly, the future has been such a good part for me in my growth and um, in just knowing that there is a team or a, a group out there that's either been through this or has advice against it. Having all those clubhouse chats and office hours of just being able to ask specific questions where podcasts might not touch it. It's like, oh, you don't know the nuance. It's always for me. It's like, I hear you say that, but you don't know this actual nuance that's going on with me. And so having that that one-to-one -one relationship is, um, is so valuable. And then having the repository of um, content that literally any question I have, I could just go scroll down like, oh, I have a question about pricing. Blah, blah, blah. I have a question about onboarding and offboarding clients. Blah, blah, blah. It's all there for me. Um, so I really love just if I'm stuck, um, the future is the first place I stop and really look into. Did you know that this video is one of the cut downs from the Future Pro Group calls? Not sure what the Pro Group is? Let me tell you. The Future Pro Group is built up of ambitious entrepreneurs and go-getters from all around the world. They're part of the Pro Group to be exposed to this incredible network, to join bi-weekly calls with Christo, watch talks from a variety of subject matter experts, and get exclusive access to over 300 hours of private coaching calls. If you want to level up your business, your mindset, and meet people along the way to keep you accountable, then click the link in the description below to find out more.